Well, the, there are different approaches um, that people have been working on. This is a very minority group um, who work in foundations of physics. So there's a whole approach um, that goes back actually to 1925 and Louis de Broglie that's called the pilot wave theory. There's another approach that are called objective collapse theories and Roger Penrose is working on those and uh, some other physicists, uh, John Carlo Girardi uh, particularly worked on versions of objective collapse theories. And these are just different theories and they all make the same predictions insofar as they have been tested so far. So we can't go to into a lab and say which of these approaches is right. Even though in principle, sometimes these different approaches make slightly different predictions, you have to think very hard about how you could actually test them. And what does quantum tell us about um, physical reality? Well, that's what's interesting, is that these different approaches would give you different answers. So if you if I say, well, I think it's the pilot wave approach is correct, I'm going to say, well, it tells me uh, that the quantum mechanical wave function is not a complete physical description, and maybe the world is deterministic, and so on. And if I take an objective collapse theory, I'm going to say, that tells me the world is fundamentally indeterministic. And so there's no single answer to that. The one thing we know for sure is that there's a kind of non-locality, and this comes from a theorem of John Bell which doesn't depend on the interpretation. John, John Bell proved that just certain results that you get in the lab cannot be reproduced in a theory that is local in a certain well-defined sense. So there has to be some non-locality. Where do you stand um, amongst these theories? I, I mean, I have a slight, but this is just my preference. My, my aesthetic sense is that the pilot wave approach seems more natural to me and the objective collapse approach seems to me um, more unnatural, but I wouldn't, you know, give a lot of attention to my aesthetic preferences here. They're both very serious. They're trying to write the theory down in completely precise mathematical terms, and everybody should pay attention to all the going things that are actually out there that have a chance of being right. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.